Hi, I'm Nick from MYO Drinks and today I'm going to show you how to distill with the Airstill Pro. Now the first thing you need if you're distilling is you're going to need a wash. And over here we've got a cleared sugar wash. Now if you don't have one of these, make sure you check out our How to Make a Sugar Wash video. First, let's talk about distilling systems. Well, over here we've got the Airstill Pro, which is a bench top still. Now the boiler down here is a key component to any distilling system. You've got a container which holds your fermented wash or any liquid that you're going to be distilling and it has a heat source. Now for the Airstill Pro boiler it's got an electric element and that's going to heat up the contents in our boiler and it's going to drive vapour or steam off that boiler and then we need to convert that vapour back to a liquid. Now with the Airstill Pro that does that with a fan that draws air across the condenser and converts that vapour back to a liquid. And that's the fundamentals of distilling. So the Airstill Pro has two different distilling modes. You can run it in pot still mode, which is perfect for crafting dark spirits like your rums and your whiskies. But you can also run it in reflux mode, which is perfect for crafting neutral spirits and gins as well. Uh, so let me talk to you about a few of the features of the Airstill Pro. So it comes with an automatic four shots collection vial. Now you might be thinking what on earth is, is that? Well when you distill the first liquid that comes off any still is called four shots and that's the liquid that you want to capture and discard. Now with the Airstill Pro it captures it automatically in the vial here so you don't have to worry about doing it. Once the liquid's captured in the vial the distillate will then come out into your collection. So it just takes the guesswork out of having to remember to take your four shots, which is perfect for beginners and intermediate distillers. Another great feature of the Airstill Pro is that in the top, it's got a botanicals basket. Now this basket, you can fill up with your gin botanicals or any botanicals that you want to vapor infuse, uh, any vapors coming up through your column um, to craft a spirit, which is perfect for your taste. And once you fill that with botanicals, place it in the top of the column, and press the lid back on. Now when you're running the still in reflux mode there is a, a column which runs from the top here right down to the bottom. Now you might be asking yourself what on earth is a column? A column is a section of tubing that contains packing material. Now packing material is a combination of both these two items here. So the silvery ones are stainless steel uh, packing materials which most of the column here is filled up with and then at the top we have copper saddles and they sit in the top of the column. Now what they do is they create surface area. So as I explained previously, you've got vapor coming off the boiler and that's then directed to the base of the column. Now as that vapor rises up the column, it rises past all of these packing materials which is creating surface area. And that's helping that vapor to condensate. And some of that vapor to continue traveling higher up the column with some of that condensed vapor to drop back down. And that's the principle of what reflux is. And reflux allows you to capture a really high ABV spirit. Um, so you can run the Airstill Pro in this mode, but you can also change it over to pot still mode, which you'll be retaining far more flavors of that vapor which is traveling up through the still. So when you're in pot still mode, you need to remember to remove these packing materials and then there'll be no reflux happening. <clears throat> now another key point to remember with the Airstill Pro is the distillation tips. So in reflux mode there's a specific tip for reflux distillation and another tip for pot still. So to change them you can simply unscrew finger tight like so and place in your next tip. Just like that. So now we're ready to start distilling. Now if you're using your Airstill Pro for the first time you'll need to do a cleaning run and that's a mix of water and vinegar and once you've done that then you're ready to add your wash. So remove the head of the Airstill Pro and then decant your cleared wash into your boiler. So now that you've put your cleared wash into your boiler up to the full line, that'll be 4 litres, 
you need to remember to add your ceramic boil chips. Now these are just going to help your boil run very smooth. And distilling conditioner. Now distilling conditioner is going to break up any of the surface tension on the bubbles that may form in your boiler. So you want to add one capful to four litres of wash. Alright, so now our wash is in the boiler, we need to go ahead and add our Airstool Pro head unit onto the boiler. Now as I'm running in reflux mode today, I need to remember that I've got my reflux tip attached and then I've got my packing material in my column. There's a plug around the back of the boiler here, from the head unit to the boiler, which I've just plugged in. And your other power cord is your mains power cord, and that just plugs in at the front here. Now, all you need to do is press the circle LED button once, and your unit's in standby mode now. And a single press again enters reflux mode. Now that small sound there is the pump working and your fan. And these are just pre-checks to make sure that these key components are actually working correctly. Now your unit's all set up and ready to distill in reflux mode. Now another piece of equipment I'm going to use is called a parrot head. And a parrot head is a small device to measure the alcohol content coming out of your still. So in here I've got what's called an alchemeter and this just floats in your alcohol so you can get a reading as to what percentage of ABV is coming off your still. So you'll place your alchemeter in here and under the distillation tip. So as your alcohol is being distilled and coming out of the distillation tip it'll be catching into the parrot head and we'll be able to get a reading. The last thing we need is a collection vessel. So this can be a jar, a bucket like this to collect the distillate as it comes out of your parrot head. And you're ready to go. So now the Airstool Pro has started distilling in reflux mode. And you can tell because the LED has changed from blinking green to a solid green. The four shots vial is also filled up with four shots and distillate is dripping from the distillate out tip. So now that your Airstool Pro is finished in reflux mode, it's automatically shut itself off. Now we've got 500 mils of 90% here from this reflux run. I'm just going to add the remaining contents of our parrot head into our collection. Now something else to remember is to discard your four shots collection. So you can simply remove the vial. And you either discard this or you could keep it for lighter fluid. So now once your unit has cooled down, you'll want to remember to clean it. So you'll discard the contents of your boiler. And every four to five distillations, depending on what you're distilling, you'll want to make sure you'll run a cleaning cycle on the head unit as well. Uh, and clean your saddles too. Um, that's all in the instructions as well, so check that out. So the last thing to do with our distillate is to dilute it and filter it. Now check out our other video on diluting and filtering. And that's another great batch from scratch. 